Hello itchy ones, welcome back to my channel. My name is Inky Rose and on today's episode I'm going to be talking to you guys all about moon phases and how they've affected my craft and my personal connection to deity through the moon phases. Stay tuned. Thank you for stopping by my channel for this video. It's been about a month since my last video. I um, I just need to get back into the YouTube thing. <laughs> this is just, it's it's so relevant to me and I love making videos and I love talking to you guys about witchcraft, spirituality, paganism, wicca, um, druidry even. I really want to start looking into druidry actually because it's just it's such an interesting concept for me and I really love their connection to the earth and how they connect to the earth through their practice. Now, for me, my practice has been very on and off lately. I haven't been doing much. Um, not that I had no lack of motivation, it's just I've kind of been stuck a little bit on what I should be doing with my craft. So yeah, that's kind of where I've been at. Um, I've made some notes for today's video. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be okay. As you can see, my altar's right here. Goddess. I work with the goddess every day. It's just something I do. Um, I, I, I actually did, my last video was an altar tour. So I'll, if you want to see that again, I'll put the link in the description and you guys can check it out if you want. But my altar is very basic. Um, lots of crystals, lots of little things, nicks and nacks here and there. Uh, yeah, so there's that. And today's crystal I'm going to be using is sodalite. Now with sodalite, sodalite is a crystal to help you regain your truth. So it's, it's blue, which is to do with the throat chakra. You know, the throat chakra, it's to help with communication, being community, expressing what you want. I also believe that the, the, um, the throat chakra has a lot to do with the heart chakra. So I think, for me, I think they're really connected because it's just, um, they're just connected. Because when you express yourself, you express it only from the heart. And that's what matters most. I actually got this piece at the Mind Body Spirit Festival about a year ago. And I saw it and it just instantly called my name. So I bought it, it was about 15 bucks, which is pretty expensive for crystals, especially if it's just a little towel like this. But yeah, today I just thought I'd talk to you about my, my, my crystals and this crystal especially, it's just, it's been helpful so much with me. It's helping me gain my confidence back, which I think is really important. Anyway, we're not talking about crystals at the moment. I'm sorry, I went, I went off to another path, but this one, <laughs> this one, as I said before, it's been with me for a long time. I love working with it. It's just, it, it's easy to hold. I'll go back to the moon phases thing. Let me just put this back. Okay. So the first point I have is moon phases and why they're important. Now, for any witch, the moon is a source of inspiration, a source of guidance. They're important because you can attune them to your craft. So, say for example, I used to do spells quite a bit on the new moon and the full moon. I didn't really actually use... Um, I didn't actually use the waxing and the waning and all that. I didn't actually use that for quite a long time because I thought basically, I thought basically for a while that spells were only potent during the new moon and the full moon. So there's that. And I think that, um, I think it's important to explore spirituality where the moon faces are concerned. So for example, if I, um, oh, hold on a sec, yep. If I was to do a spell on the waxing moon or the waning moon, for me, whenever I see those two things, it instantly reminds me of, um, instantly reminds me <laughs> of things I can do to improve myself. So if I wanted to do, do like a self-improvement spell on myself, like for energy or self-love, I'd do it on the waxing or the waning moon. However, if I was to do something big, like a big spell, a big ritual, I would instantly go to the full moon because it's just, it's big, it's powerful, it's what you want. Um, but with the new moon, new things, new things coming in, uh, working on yourself. Also, I think with the waxing and the waning and the new moon, they're all sort of connected to one another. So that's important too. So they're, they're all important. <laughs> I know some witches, I've met some witches who don't do anything to do with the full moon or the moon phases or anything. They don't really attune that to their craft. But I think it's important to do so because I believe that if we do more spellcraft on the moon phases, they'll be more potent, as I said just before then. 
Um, so yeah, this, that's that. Okay, the next point. How the moon has helped me on my witchy journey slash deity. Now, I remember when I was first starting my practice. This was way back in 2016. And basically, I remember where I, where I was living at the time. I was living in the Blue Mountains. Um, and I remember talking to this lady and she told me about the moon phases and she said, go outside where you can see the moon and write a poem to her, to the, to the goddess. Write a poem to the moon goddess. And I did write a poem to the moon goddess. I do not know where that poem is. <laughs> I have no idea where that poem is. Um, but still, it's just, oh, I wish I knew where it was because it would, would, help, would help me so much in my journey. I should have read it in my phone or in a journal or something. I, put, I think I just wrote it on a piece of paper and just put it next to my altar at that point in time. Not that I had an altar at that point in time. I just used a little space for tarot card reading and stuff like that. So yeah, there was that. Um, to connect, what was the second point again? <laughs> I'm, I'm all over the place. Um, how the moon has helped me on my witch duty. Um, also with my spells, I like doing spells on the full moon, new moon. I, I'm a bit picky, I guess. <laughs> um, I guess that, but for me, that's how my craft works. It's how I work. It's how I work with the moon and the and the sun. And it, it, for me, I have to do a spell on the new moon or the full moon. There's no other exception for it. I'm not one of those witches who just goes ahead and does all this, um, all this work out of nothing and hoping that it will come, the, the result of the spell will come to fruition just out of doing it on any day. For me, I'm very picky. I like to work on the new moon and the full moon. And I have a really good app as well called The Moon. And we're currently waning at the moment. If you guys can see that. So we're currently waning at the moment. And the good thing about this app also is that it tells you when the new, it reminds me when the new moon and the full moon is. I've also written that in my daily, daily planning diary as well. So I double know when the next... Um, the next full moon and the new moon are. So the next one coming up is the new moon and it's not until the 15th of September. We're on the 3rd of September today. So that's that as well. Okay, tips on spellcraft with the moon. I'd say for people who want to know how to improve their craft with the spells of the full moon and all that, I'd say... Don't... Tips on spellcraft with the moon. <coughs> It's kind of hard to explain, really. <laughs> Unless you're actually doing it, it's kind of hard to explain how the whole ritual and the spellcraft and all how that works. Um, I just say, do what. As I said before, I've said this before. I know, do what makes you feel happy. With the, with witchcraft, there's no one rule. It's your craft. Your craft is sacred, and your path is important. So that's what I learned a long time ago from a lady who who I went to the first my first ever ritual I went to. And I was talking to her and I said, look, I'm just beginning. Do you have any tips for me? And she said, the first thing I tell anyone is that your path is unique and your path is sacred. Don't think that there's all these rules you have to follow. It has to be to, to a letter. Know that you can do whatever you want in your craft and it can still be your craft and you can still work with it. So I think that's really important. Um, yeah, so there's that. I keep putting my phone down. I've got to stop doing that. <laughs> Um, ritual and how the moon affects that. This is the last point, by the way. Um, so I'll put my phone down now. I can, uh, uh, ritual. So, to be honest, I don't do ritual that much. I'm more of a spellcraft, cast a circle kind of person. Even though I'm in my room right now and there's not a lot of room to cast a circle. I remember when I was living in the Blue Mountains, I had a massive room and I was able to cast a circle and sit in the circle and meditate to the goddess, meditate just generally, do my spells close the circle. Also a lot of the rituals I went to when I was in the Blue Mountains, um, they did a lot of circle casting as well. So that was very important for me and my craft. I think that's very important. If you if you want to cast, cast a circle, you don't have to cast a circle. Um, but I think it's important if, you, if you're in a big group and you're doing a huge group ritual, I think that's very important for people to do. Um, but yeah, with the moon and all that, I remember I went to a ritual once. It was I was really lucky because where I lived, the the place that they held the rituals was just like a 15 minute walk down the road, which was fantastic. Um, but we, we held a moon ritual once and we had um, a massive circle. There was about 50 people. It was bloody beautiful. <laughs> excuse, the, excuse the language. Um, but we, we did cast a circle and I think that's important as well. With the, with the moon and all that. There's actually this term I found 
uh, I think it was about a year ago now, called Drawing Down the Moon. So you're drawing down the energies of the goddess and you're making her known in your ritual. You can reenact that in your, in your ritual. I think that's very important. I think working with the moon is very important. I think working with the ritual that you're doing is very important. So yeah, um, that's all I really have to say about ritual and the moon and the phases and all that. Um, thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I do appreciate you guys. Um, if, if you like it, like it below. Thumbs up, comment. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. <laughs>